Okay, I'm going to put together a little demo here. This is my Pico projector. I'll show off the video I've done for this. It's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like video graffiti. Now you can see in a brightly lit room, the Pico projector doesn't produce a whole lot of light. It's one of the problems with these projectors is they're just not terribly bright. But I found a good way to get around it. Let's see if I can put the menu up here so I can see what I'm doing. It doesn't have an LCD built in, so you have to activate the menu screen by actually looking at the image. Okay, see? Because the projector is not very bright, if I create a really high contrast black and white image, I can create something that's pretty visible even from a projector that doesn't put out a lot of power. Let's try it on a larger wall. So even on a larger wall, this image is still relatively easy to see. It's vague. It's nowhere near well defined, but you can still make it out pretty well. Now, this is the uncut video. Let's see if I can find the one that's not. That one here that's all nice and edited. I just read my own menus. Now, here we go. Yeah, this is the edited video. got a bunch of little quick cuts and stuff in it and trying to add a little shock value. Also I did some video effects to make it look more ghostly. See all that quick jumping around isn't my hand, it's the video edited to shoot my face around the screen. Let's see how this looks in a dark room. It's relatively dark in the living room. Here's what it looks like next to my lava lamp. Again, it's not quite... It's not really bright. But with a high contrast black and white image, you can still get something very visible. More importantly, I could project this image anywhere, which makes it like digital graffiti. Oh, I should have taken this with me at Halloween. I missed out. This would have been so awesome to project on random walls. My little pocket camcorder doesn't do particularly good video during low light, so these videos are going to be very dark. Here's some random samples I shot outdoors. You can see them on a you can see what the image looks like projected on a variety of surfaces. Some surfaces have higher uh, reflectivity than other surfaces. Um, metal signs, well, metal in general reflects really well. Some of the white walls you think would reflect well don't really do so well. Stucco doesn't seem to reflect particularly well. Some other surfaces, you know, you get better results. This is the ultra-high contrast video I created. Basically, I sat in a dark room with a flashlight pointed at my face and just filmed it. And then I took it into uh, Adobe Premiere and I increased the contrast to the most extremes I could so that anything got hit by lights starkly visible and anything that fell even the slightest bit in the shadow just became completely invisible. The end result is a, a video where an object appears to come out of nowhere, just sort of materializes into existence and then fades back into the background.